Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is from Monday, June 22nd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather a little unsettled for much of the week with scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms around each day. Maybe some strong storms like yesterday. There's the upper air look this morning. We have a trough north and west of the state and a very moist air mass in place. Things pretty quiet early this morning. That was the radar composite at 454. Had some uh, thunderstorms over coastal parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, but again, Alabama pretty quiet. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s to start today, highs in the 80s today. There's the watch warning map, pretty quiet early this morning. Those counties in orange out west, those are heat advisories. Here's the severe weather outlook for today, and you can see a um, pretty good chunk of the eastern half of the country with a chance of strong storms. In Alabama, we have a low-end marginal risk, level 1 out of level 5 for most all of the state except for the southeastern corner. And like yesterday, heavier storms could produce some hail, strong winds, no tornado threat. Tomorrow, a marginal risk across parts of the southern states, including about the northern half of Alabama, areas in darker green, then on day three, Wednesday, pockets of marginal risks, including one for extreme South Alabama, specifically Mobile, Baldwin, and Escambia counties. But understand, even for the rest of the state, we'll have a chance of showers and storms around. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain amounts obviously increasing with this unsettled pattern. For our state, rain totals for most locations between one and two inches, and of course, your number will vary because of the scattered, random nature of the storm. Some spots maybe could pick up one inch of rain in just one hour with these things. Tropics, a little swirl off the upper Atlantic coast, not expected to become a tropical system. It's getting over colder water. And let's check the dust, the African dust coming off the deserts. You can see that it's coming across the Caribbean. And by Thursday... Some of the African dust in the upper air could swirl into the southeast United States, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. And again, it, you know, for some reason, there's some odd media hysteria over this. Uh, this happens almost every summer. Uh, it's a good thing in that it mitigates tropical storm formation out there because this is very dry air. And it can provide some very vivid sunsets because of the scattering of the sunlight because of the dust. And there could be some slight decrease in air quality, but uh, again, it doesn't impact most people. So let's go to the modeling here, model fans. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. There's the trough. And again, we'll see a number of showers and storms around today. This is the high-res NAM at 5 o'clock, and the radar will not look exactly like this. And it's race day at Talladega. They're going to try it again. Had a couple of afternoon storms that got them yesterday. Uh, it'll be the same kind of thing today. Again, different timing, different looks, different positions, but they'll have to dodge the afternoon storms. Again, highs in the 80s today. This is tomorrow, same thing. And Wednesday, both days, we'll have scattered to numerous showers and storms around with highs only in the low 80s probably. In fact, some spots where the showers form early might stay in the 70s. So summer heat, not really a problem this week. Thursday, again, scattered showers and storms occasionally cloudy. Friday, evidence we might be a little drier. Not going to take out the chance of rain, but showers becoming more scattered. This is Saturday, and the moisture increases again, partly sunny, scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms, highs probably upper 80s, and the same thing on Sunday. We might be close to 90 by Sunday afternoon. And this is a week from today, Monday the 29th, cold trough in the west, 591 Ridge, a little south and east of here. And again, that looks typical for late June. Partly sunny, very muggy, a few pop-up storms about. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 1st of July. Ridging here in place across the deep south, and it looks pretty quiet. This is the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The green line is the mean, suggesting amounts between 2 and 3 inches over the next 15 days. Temperatures, you can see the numbers coming down this week, but then they get back up toward 90, maybe low 90s over the weekend. 
And the CPC outlook, this is for June 29th through July 5th, hinting temperatures for the west below average and above average for the eastern U.S. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.